mission Once fucked a bitch all in my mentions Only fucked her once, no reminiscing She called me hubby, but I had to keep it pimp Welcome back to my channel, you guys If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Marissa And yeah, you guys, we are gonna be doing today I'm gonna be showing you guys new products that I did purchase And I've been keeping for like months And um, I don't know if you guys seen the new lighting and stuff And everything, the view looks like am out there but i do have a new ring light and everything i uh, set up and everything and it looks way more better and if you guys like the lighting let me know if i have to adjust the lighting and stuff but yeah you guys we're going to be using new items i am going to be using the same palette for my eyebrows um i don't got nothing new for my eyebrows but i do have new random items for like everything for my face so I'm going to get started, you guys. If you guys want to keep on watching, then go ahead and keep on watching. We're going to be doing first the eyebrows. So I do have uh, the Aqua Beauty. It's, this one is a seven-piece studio brush kit. And it says, try all of our Aqua brushes and kits for all flawless, flawlessly finished face. So I will be using the bra. It does come like this, you guys. And I... I don't think I ever tried their brushes from Aquid. I think this would be the first time ever. So I'm just going to take out the bra pencil looks. Um, it's, it looks defined for me. It looks alright. I don't know if you guys could see that. It looks alright for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. And like I usually do, if you guys want to go ahead and skip this part, that's fine. I'm still going to put it on on there so you guys could see how I use I do my eyebrows usually every single time I do my eyebrows I do them differently every single time so it's up to you guys if you guys want to see this part but I'm just gonna keep this part in and I'm looking down here you guys because I do have a mirror so just in case for the people that are like why is she looking out down there So I'm done with my eyebrows. One out of ten, I like this one. Pretty good, pretty decent. I really do enjoy that. And I did my eyebrows right there. I don't know if you guys could see them. I am gonna clean them out, so don't worry about that. I do that always. I always clean them out at the end. And for my concealer, that I'm, what I'm gonna use for um, to conceal, I'm gonna be using the Insta Conceal and Contour from Rimmel London, you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Um, do I need a brighten? I don't think so. But anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this one, you guys. Uh, be using the lightest one. Well, for this one, it doesn't have a brush that I could. For this one, I'm just gonna use uh, one of my brushes. I'm gonna be using the Ioni brush. And it's a flat brush. And I'm going to be just getting the middle one right here. And it looks, it's it feels creamy, you guys. It doesn't feel like super like, um, it doesn't feel heavy in the eye or even like, shocky or anything like that it looks it feels and looks smooth okay that looks very natural you guys i don't know i'm i now i'm gonna be like damn i should have got another one i didn't get another one you guys but i'm gonna use this as my 
primer for my eyes for I could get my eyes ready for the color and stuff so it could stick to the eye so I'm just gonna use this so when I put color on my eyes oh my god you guys it's like a how it's like a it's like I don't know how to explain it it's like a matte I actually really like that okay I'm gonna um save that in a little bit i'm probably gonna use it again so i'm just gonna leave that there see i'm i did put some tape here and i'm gonna it's already good so today we're gonna be using the bratman rock collab with wet and wild this one is called the jungle rock and i will be using his palette today you guys i've been wanting to use it last time i think i used it in one of my videos but i'm not sure so we're just going to go ahead and try it again and use it. So we'll be using it today. This is I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, but I'm just going to go ahead and get whatever I think I'm going to use. So I'm feeling like something popping, something like out there. And I'm looking at those screens. You know what? I'm going to get that green. I will be using the, I'm going to be using crease. This is for the crease. I'm going to be grabbing that and I will be going into Anaconda. It's going to be this one right here. And putting that on the outer edge only. And what I'm doing is just, um, I'm grabbing some and stamping it wherever I want the color at. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, if the lighting is good for you guys. Or if not, I could switch it around. I feel like the lighting is alright, but I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing as I am. Just let, let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, now I'm just going to be getting venom Venomous, and it's this one right here. That one right there. And putting, grabbing that, and putting that in the outer corner only. Concentrating it right here. I'm going to cheat, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to get one of my brushes. This is the small pointed eyeshadow brush, ES6, from Profusion. This grabs color, like, look at that. This one grabs color. And I'm just putting that in the outer corner. That color. Just slightly. Like that. And now. Now I'm looking at the other one. We're just going to grab that. With our finger. And put it. Right. Here. Just like that. A blind it on glitter eyeliner. This one is the Crystal Diamond from Perf Profusion Cosmetics. I'm going to be using that for my... I want to try it like right across or... And this is what it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to, how I feel about this. To be honest, I'm grabbing my palette. I'm gonna be using that black 
the black eyeliner that we have in here. I am uh, somebody was calling me <laughs> but what was I was just doing my eyeliner pretty much um I'm, I'm I already filled it on the sides so I don't want to make it that um this one using my favorite glue of all time you guys i've been raving and loving this glue this one is the every lasting lash glue from myoni it's this one right here you guys and love it love it love it you guys i don't know it just sticks so good to your eyes it doesn't move around like the other ones even if i'm like have a little bit of you know like tears or anything i really do enjoy using this one you guys it dries fast and once you put it in your eyes, girl, baby girl, it ain't going nowhere. And I'm telling you that it ain't going nowhere. So I'm just going to be gluing these other eyes. And we're going to go ahead and moisturize our face. And... I'm going to get a little bit of my Jergens cream. Don't talk shit about my cream because I love this cream. And I'm always going to have it. I'm telling you guys, I rave about this cream because it's super, super, really good. Moisturizes your face really good. And I'm using my e.l.f. All Limited Blending Brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of this out. Today's primer, we're going to be using an only e.l.f. Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. And yeah, this is the one, the cooling effect. This is, um, I did open it just to see how it's going to work. And it looks like this, you guys. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I want to go ahead and try it out today for you guys and see if I do like it. Um, it goes with the look anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. And it is kind of cooling. It is cooling. And yes, I'm using my fingers for this one. Oh, okay. I think I put too much. Do kind of. But I think it's too white. I don't know if you guys seen this in my videos, previous videos. Um, this one is a natural. This one is LA Colors Truly Matte. Long wearing, high pigment tint, high pigment and foundation. Ham in. But we're, first we're going to make sure this is nice and wet first. The middle one just to um, conceal the blemishes in the areas that I have redness. So when I put on this foundation, there's no redness. You can't see. Or I guess we're just going to go. I'm scared. So I'm just going to use a little bit and see where it takes us. Um... I don't know what is it sh how is it showing in camera but in person it looks like a little a little pinkish and nothing bad I'm just gonna get some in my finger and dotted some in my face 
in my nose. So we're gonna go ahead and blend that out. Product here. And I'm gonna go in with my Ioni brush and carve out my eyebrows. I didn't sleep where? Look at this. Look at I don't have no redness, no blue, no nothing underneath my eyes. Who is she? Who is she? It looks good. I was impressed with the, what's I'm gonna call it? With the concealer. It looks pretty damn good. It just looks Flawless. Okay, now, now that we have that and the concealer and everything, we're going to go ahead and use a powder. Today's powder, we're going to be using um, translucent, hard candy translucent loose powder. We're going to be using this one. It's just loose, translucent. doesn't have a color to it, so it's just basically blanco. Blanco, blanco, like literally. Yeah, so we're just going to put that underneath my eyes. We are going to be grabbing this one right here. This is a power powder brush, the regular powder brush. And I'm going to go ahead and get that into the brush. And patting that underneath my eyes. I'm just going to get my sponge and I'm going to grab it from this side and get that powder and bake underneath. Only on the areas that I get super, super oily. Oh, this is messy. <clears throat> So this is the hard candy translucent powder <coughs> baking <sighs> okay and i'm gonna go back on into my eyeshadow palette and get the same colors that i put on the on the eyes i'm gonna go ahead get these two up here and put them on my lower lash line and with that i'm gonna be using the smudge brush and i'm gonna be grabbing that those colors and putting them underneath my eye i'm gonna go ahead and brush it off but after i brush it off i'm gonna get a little bit of this um aoa studio perfect finishing press powder and this is a just a press translucent powder um it is white just like the one that I used, super fine milled, and I'm just gonna get a little bit of that and then brush, brush it all away. So you gotta watch out, these do leave a little, like super dry down in your eye. You just wanna make sure you, when, when you use these, be careful. Because it's super dry and make sure that it's all blended and everything. Um, it does leave a little bit dryness, but it's okay. You could always um, use your setting spray and stuff. So, sure, I know this is a blush tone. This is the Muse Cosmetics. This is the um, 6 Blush and Glow. But you know what I use this is a bronzer. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that brush and use this as a uh, uh, bronzer. And I'm going to be using the same powder brush in my face.
I know I need to get some new contour palettes, like the, not the cheaper versions, but uh, you know, I'm a cheap ass hoe. You know, I don't want to be using like, oh, Anastasia, blah, 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 Barry Billy. No, I mean, I'm a cheap hoe, but I'm still going to, I, I want to try some different um, bronzing palettes as well. And bronzing, contouring my face, no, pretty much. Sponge and grab some of that um, lighter side, and then I'm gonna ch chisel my cheekbones with it. Okay, and then now I'm gonna take it away. For blush, I know you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck Marissa, why are you gonna use that blush? It's too pigmented. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Benefits Lasting Flush. So this is the Fruit Punch. And it is, what I'm telling you guys, this looks I mean, it, just by the look of it, it's really pigmented. And I thought it wasn't going to be pigmented. And yo, what is... What is going on? Do you see that? That's pigmented as a fuck. So yeah, we're going to have to go like little lightly. Like... And take off the excess and just... I don't want to look like a payasa, you know? This is so like little. I feel like it's so little. I'm so used to like holding my bigger brushes and using the bigger ones. But it's alright. It's it's doing its work. So I think that's I think that's fine. And now I'm just gonna blend it in with my brush to Tone it down. One and only. One and only. Wet and Wild SpongeBob SquarePants highlighter, you guys. I might be like super, super um, late on this, but I don't give a crap. I'm going to review it and I'm going to see how it is and how cute is this. Look at that. How cute is that? It's super bright as well, you guys. Oh my god, I can't wait to. And you guys, I'm kind of, I'm really like pissed off because I didn't even use it, and I was, I had it right here in my front, in front of my face. I do have the Wet n Wild makeup sponge, but I could use this on my other video if you guys want to go and, you know, see me try it. I will be using this one. I'm sorry, you guys. I know I was supposed to try new stuff, but I didn't. Fuck, it fucking sucks. But I will be having it here, so just in case I, oh, I won't forget. And go ahead and use this one. And this one is called limited. It doesn't say nothing. What is it called? It just says limited edition. Yeah, it doesn't say like what shade is it or nothing like that. So I'm going to go ahead and spritz small plates. like all the time I'm gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline Maybelline Milani make it last because I love this stuff and then I'm gonna go in with one of my brushes I'm gonna be using this one right here I'm gonna go in with my brush it's not um what does I'm call it it's not super powdery it's actually picking up really good and I'm gonna go ahead and let's see oh shit oh my god you guys oh. 
Yo guys. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it wasn't gonna be that pigmented. Bro, you guys see that? Boom! I'm gonna blind the shit out of you guys. But anyways, I guess we're gonna keep on going. I haven't even dipped into it anymore. That's how pigmented this is. I think a I went a little too ham. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. But so for my lips, what I'm gonna be using, I don't get nothing new. Grab a lipstick. This is the Maybelline Superstay. And I'm gonna use that. For this one, you don't even need no lip liner or nothing. I just wear like that. I don't know. Um, I Some people do recommend lip liner. But all right, you guys. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let me just get do my hair, put on some earrings and stuff, and I'll be right back. I'm back, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but I love the way it looks. It looks so beautiful. I just love the way the green pops out this would be a super gorgeous glam look for summer and this lip is killing it with the you know with the whole look it just looks so good except the yellow part when i fucked it up i didn't know it was gonna be that pigmented but i mean it looks pretty good you guys and i did really like all the products that i use um the spongebob what i use is for my daily you know highlighter i wouldn't use it for my daily but i would use it like for outer corner or even an eyeshadow or even a little lightly on my nose or somewhere on my body so when i go out like on a beach or like when it's nice outside in the summer i really do enjoy everything the only thing though that i need to start practicing is with this one right here the profusion bling it on this one I mean, it wasn't really bad, but it was a little st straight, streaky. So you got to go in because it does clump up like that. I don't know if you guys could see, but it does cl clump up like that, you guys. And I personally don't like to use those that clump like that because usually they tend to like dry real fast. But yeah, you guys, other than that, everything was pretty good. Um, the matte foundation... I don't know if you guys tell me down below if it did a match my skin color. Um, I'm going to keep on trying it out and use it up and see if I do enjoy it. And another thing that I didn't show you guys is this Illuminator Glowing um, Complexion from City Color Illuminating Cream Holographic. And I will be showing you guys this with the Spongebob and everything. I know you guys, I'm sorry. I'm really bad at that. Reminding me with everything. But yeah, you guys, um, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to keep on seeing more of this bitch. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Uh -huh.